Hi there and welcome! Arch-based Manjaro Linux has recently brought all of GNOME 40 into stable and is featured in the 21.1 release code named Pavo. This took a while since all the helpful Manjaro tools, such as the Layout Manager, needed to be ported first. We're going to take a look at this top-rated distro now. As Pavel hasn't been released yet at publishing time, we'll use the Arnara GNOME install ISO to get started and then do a full system upgrade. So here we're booting the Ornara ISO with open source drivers. And it's coming up. Starting the display manager. And here we have the welcome screen. Let's launch the installer. American English looks good. We're in the Pacific or Los Angeles time zone. The keyboard looks good. Let's manually partition. So let's create a new GPT partition table. Let's click on free space. Let's create the EFI partition. Let's make it 500 megabytes. FAT32. Mount point is boot EFI. And the boot flag is checked. Next, let's create the swap partition. And here I recommend RAM plus one gigabyte. It's of type Linux swap. We'll mark the swap flag. Click OK. Finally, our BTRFS root partition for the rest of the drive. That'll be root as mount point and root as the flag. Click OK. Ah, that looks good. Put in my name. We'll call this host name Pavo. Now give myself a password. Enter it again. We'll use the same password for the administrator account and click next. So we review what actions the Calamari's installer will take and click install since they look good. Note that again, we're installing Ornara uh, Manjaro GNOME. Uh, and then once the system's installed, we'll do a full upgrade like I mentioned previously. So this will take quite some time. So I will edit this out and see you in a moment. And we're almost done. It's installing the bootloader right now. And doing some miscellaneous post-install configurations. And we're ready to restart the machine with a new Manjaro installation, GNOME Edition. And the machine's coming up. And there's a login screen, GDM. We are actually using the uh, default Wayland session here. Let's enter my password. And there's our welcome screen. So let's go and launch settings and fix that screen resolution. But first, we're going to turn off the auto screen blank for this demonstration and auto suspend and switch the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and 60 Hertz refresh rate. That looks a lot better. Good. So let's up do a full system upgrade to Pavo. So 
So it looks like we've got 1.1 gigs to download and install. That's quite a bit. Uh, what we're doing is removing some packages and installing some other ones because otherwise there'll be conflicts and Manjaro's PAMAC utility uh, takes care of that for us. So let's um, get cracking here and this will take quite some time again. So I will be back when it's done. 209 packages have been upgraded, including the kernel. So we'll need to reboot. Let's do that now. All right, restarting. All right, we're in Manjaro 21.1. .1. Let me log in. Good, there's our welcome screen again. Pavo 21.1, .1, as it says, so that's good. Let's launch tweaks. Extensions have moved, yes, we know. Flathub is also available, by the way. Let's make it a little bit easier to read for you guys. Let's select 13 point font everywhere. Make this demo a little more legible. And we do have LCD screen here, so we'll do the sub-pixel sub anti-aliasing. That looks good. Okay, let's launch Firefox and install the GNOME extensions. Close the Firefox privacy notice uh, tab, and let's type in GNOME extensions to search. And there it is, first hit. Yeah, let's make this a little bigger here. So it says click here to install browser extension. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Continue to installation, add it, and allow this to run in private windows. I like doing that. Okay, let's reload the page. I should recognize our extension as being installed. Next, I like to install user themes as a minimum. So I'll turn that on. There we go, and that's done. Good, let's launch the layouts ma uh, switcher. This is a useful Manjaro uh, utility. I like to turn off automatic dark themes here, and uh, we can play with uh, various GNOME 40 layouts. Like for example, this traditional where it has, uh, as you can see, the uh, arc menu at the bottom and a uh, bunch of uh, launcher icons. Uh, so very Windows-like menu system. There's also Manjaro Legacy. So if you like to have the uh, original pre-GNOME 40 uh, configuration, you can do that as well. And the uh, the gnome, uh, the more modern one, is what we're going to be using today, the gnome forty. So you can have multiple screens, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So fun thing to uh, play around with. So next. Let's launch Tweaks again. And let's do some light theming here. I like the Maya Compact Dark. I like the Adwaita Default Cursor. And let's change the background to Wallpaper SD2 Black. For both the desktop and the lock screen. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, that's a nice wallpaper. Okay. Let's uh, configure the firewall first thing. Very simple configuration. 
We're at home, so we'll just use the home profile. And as an example, let's add the transmission BitTorrent client as an application we'd like to allow through the uh, firewall. We can find it pre-configured already. It'll remind us to open the ports on our router, which we've already done. So there it is. 51.4.13 is the port and transmission should work fine now. Cool, let's launch terminal. Let's make it a little bigger and full screen. So uh, let's handle building Paru. So let's git clone it from https colon slash slash aur dot archlinux.org slash Paru. And there it's cloned. So it's cd into the uh, build directory. So before we can build, we need to sudo pacman dash s dash dash needed base dash devel to allow us to build packages. So almost everything is already installed. We want to get the rest. Okay. Let's clear the screen and build Paru by typing make package dash si and hit return. Default is good. Let's proceed with the installation. So it's downloading Rust, installing Rust, and now it's grabbing the Paru source, the latest sources. And this will take a while to build, so I'll return when it's done. And it's built. So now let's proceed with installation. And it's all done. Let's go back to the home directory, clear the screen. And let's remove the build directory so we don't need it anymore. Let us rehash Z shell can find the binary and let's test Paru and it looks like Paru is working. All the databases are up to date. So let us install ZRAM daemon. And looks good. So I'll hit Q here. Let's proceed with the installation. Keep installing Go. And now it's building ZRAM. And now it's installed. Let's clear the screen and let us enable the service for ZRAM daemon. So we'd like to enable it now, the ZRAMD.service. And it created the symbolic link and started the daemon. So let's do a summary of what our swap situation, oops, old habit. So with a lower uh, dash S, lowercase, uh, the priority for the disk swap is minus two. And the priority for swapping to ZRAM is 100. And that's exactly what we want. Use RAM as much as possible and only swap to disk if absolutely necessary. Fantastic, just what we needed. Let's clear the screen. Next, let us install time shift dash auto snap. So we get a time shift snapshot of BTRFS file system every time we do an upgrade, which comes in very handy for rolling a uh, file system. So um, let's launch time shift. Let's enter our password. So a snapshot type, it recognizes it's BTRFS. That's great. Snapshot location will be our root partition. Snapshot level defaults look good. We won't include home. You can if you want, um, but we'll enable the queue groups. Click next and the setup is already complete. Now let's click finish. Let's create our first snapshot. Since it's BTRFS, it happens in a second. 
So that's our first snapshot. So we're ready to upgrade and play with the system. We can always roll back if something goes wrong. Next, let's uh, take a look at the welcome screen. So we have the forums here, the Manjaro forums. Uh, let's make this a little bigger. So we're on the GNOME ISO. So I strongly recommend that you browse through the forums and ask questions at the uh, Manjaro forums. They are very good and very helpful, very friendly community. Would strongly recommend uh, them anytime if you'd like to learn about how to operate Manjaro. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time.